The next grouping of brush categories is for watercolor and wet media. These brush types create wet paint that can flow and diffuse on the canvas. We'll start with watercolor fringe. These brushes look best if they are used on a layer that is set to the gel composite method. Fringe watercolor is one of the older watercolor technologies in Painter. As we'll discover in a bit, it doesn't look quite as realistic as real watercolor, but it does have four distinct advantages. Fringe watercolor can be used on a default layer. It does not require any special layer types. Second, fringe watercolor is rendered instantly, whereas the other two watercolor types have to go through a diffusion process to reach their final appearance. Third, the fringe of fringe watercolor strokes can be edited dynamically using a slider in the digital watercolor flyout or panel. This allows you to create stronger or weaker fringe. You can dry the fringe watercolor to make it interact with other types of brushes, but you will no longer be able to edit the fringe property. And lastly, the fringe of the fringe watercolor responds well to pen pressure. For example, heavy pressure deposits paint, while lighter pressure blends away the fringe and diffuses the pigment. To see how watercolor fringe differs from the other watercolor technologies, let's change to the watercolor pigment category. I'll select flat wash. If I paint a comparison stroke using this brush, you can see that the paint diffuses or flows in a way that mimics watercolor paint. A special watercolor layer is also created automatically. And you have control over the diffusion process using the watercolor flyout and panel. In comparison, the fringe watercolor was static and did not diffuse. That's because pigment watercolor brushes use the wet method, while fringe watercolor brushes use the less sophisticated digital wet method. When you're working with watercolor pigment brushes, they diffuse in their own unique way. If you're on Windows, you can speed up the diffusion for this brush type by pressing the spacebar repeatedly or by holding it down. As you do that, the rate of diffusion will increase. Unfortunately, this does not have the same effect on real watercolor brushes. The third category of watercolor is called real watercolor. This is the newest and most advanced watercolor in Corel Painter. Let's try wet knife and we'll paint a stroke. You can see that the paint diffuses in a different way. Along with the real watercolor panel, which gives you even more control over the diffusion process, you can also use the flow map to control how and where the watercolor flows. Plus you can add even more randomization and texture to the paint by enabling dab stencil properties. Real watercolor brushes use the real wet subcategories, which are more advanced than regular wet. But if I compare real wet and regular wet diffusion side by side, you can see both have their own strengths. Wet diffusion shows each molecule of pigment traveling through the water in real time. You can control the flow pattern of the pigment by choosing various paper textures. Let's reset this brush to make it real wet again. From the real watercolor panel, you can disable delay diffusion and lower the animation stepping to make real wet more responsive. Now you can see how the pigment flows through the water. It does so in a more natural looking way. The wet subcategories will flow radially in all directions unless you specify a wind force and angle. The differences in the size of the panels also highlight how much more you can do with real watercolor compared to regular watercolor. We will learn more about working with watercolor brushes in a lesson near the end of this course. New in Painter 2022 is the Sumayi watercolor category. This is a mixture of brushes that use various wet subcategories. These brushes are meant to simulate techniques for working in an Eastern Sumayi style. But another way to look at them is that they showcase some of the more advanced effects that can be achieved with the wet method brush technologies. For instance, I'll select variable flat and paint an overlapping test stroke with a medium blue. This brush is using the real wet replace subcategory. Next, I'll select the rewet variant and paint over the stroke. This brush uses the grainy wet abrasive subcategory which causes the paint to diffuse and take on a drippy appearance. Many of these brushes have a heavily textured appearance due to the influence of the flow map dab stencil. This texture can be modified simply by changing the flow map to something else. Included in Painter 2022 are five new flow maps, Rockface, Smudge, Stones, Hodgepodge, and Furrowed. I've painted a few example strokes with each flow map using the greeny bristle brush.
You can even overlap the flow maps to create all sorts of intricate textures with these brushes. I'll be discussing flow maps in more detail in a later lesson. Let's wrap up the wet media categories by exploring the oils real wet category. While real wet oils are an oily medium, they share some similarities with real watercolor. The real wet oils are using the wet method and the real wet oil subcategory. This creates wet media that can diffuse in a similar way to the real watercolor brushes. In fact, if you compare the real wet oils panel to the real watercolor panel, they are nearly identical. While real watercolor brushes require you to paint on a watercolor layer, real wet oils are able to work on a default layer. I'll paint with the hard variants from both categories. You can see that the oil is very opaque and the watercolor is very transparent. Though the paint flows in the same way, the pigments look different. We can also erode the oil. Let's try erosion. This almost works like an eraser to lift pigment from the canvas. I'll use turpentine to dilute the pigment and make it run and blend as if I added turpentine to the canvas. You can paint a really long stroke that builds up to make the paint flow more heavily. As long as you keep your pen pressed down, the medium will continue to flow. So you can see that compared to the brushes in the regular oils category, the real wet oil variants are much more dynamic because they can simulate wet media. You can also combine the real wet oils with the general oils, sergeant, or artist oils brushes if you want the best of both worlds. For example, I can put down some thicker, drier paint with the artist oils, and then use turpentine to wet it down. 